Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 2 Episode 10 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. once in a while I'll go back and just look through all my YouTube comments and re reply to a few of them but I do read majority of them and quite a few people have mentioned that if you rewatch Dr. Stone you'll find that there's a lot of little clues that Senku just picked up on and it's how he like pretty much used the information to act early and it makes him look super smart which he is but it makes him look smarter than what he actually is, thinking that he knows a lot of things that other people don't, but he just picks up on these small clues and that kind of leads further to the plot. I want to know if anybody picked up on that. <laughs> like, did anyone see this happening at all? Because I rewatched a few episodes, I didn't get any clues about this whatsoever. I completely forgot that this girl even exists. Like, she was part of, like, that special featurette, and they were, like, chasing her around, and she's, like, what began this entire season, I feel like, and I just completely lost, left my mind that she's even a character in, like, this crappy prison that they made for her. I don't even know what the point of that was. But what I did think was really cool was how they brought back Yo and pretty much reincorporated him into this anime, because for the longest time, I'm like, why does this character exist? <laughs> right? I was like, what does he actually do for just anybody here? Like, he didn't really further the plot in any way. So that was just the one thing that I thought of when Yo came back and like he went through all this. I'm like, oh, okay, so he does have some significance to this plot. I'm not sure where people get this idea from that the Earth is overpopulated or it can't sustain the people that currently live on it. Like that's for like I mean, that's so completely wrong that I, I'm genuinely curious like where, where did this information come from like why do people think that that's a real thing it, it's definitely not in fact the, the earth can sustain actually more people like than who we have currently living here right now you look way back in the day a lot of doomsday scientists were saying that global warming is gonna like just kill everything and by the year 2000 there's gonna be mass starvation and like majority of humans on earth will just die this couldn't be farther from the truth, right? So like everybody who claims this, they're not well educated in how like food is like dispersed and how much crop we can grow and there, there's just so much misinformation about this. Like I don't, I don't, there's no evidence to suggest that the earth cannot sustain everybody plus a billion more. Like we can actually have a lot of people on this planet and live just fine. I agree with Senku 100% about this exact point. Like, if, if this is going to be such a problem, we've got a lot of people on Earth, and every year there's far more people educated than last year. We will figure this out. Like, people are pretty smart, we're really resilient, and we are survivors. We're going to get this right. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> Batteries are no joke, man. Like, they've really used them a lot in this anime, and I, I just can't emphasize enough. Like, please be careful around them, because uh, what Senku just said is absolutely true. Like, if if he had just a but like a pretty much like a bulletproof vest of lithium ion batteries. Yeah, that they're very viable to explode and like those type of batteries are used in gosh a lot of consumer electronics like um, Like my smartphones this laptop. I mean good. There's probably a lot more things I just can't think of right now, but lithium-ions are everywhere and I, I Do not recommend this. This is very very unsafe But people still do it and because lithium-ion batteries are so accessible to the public there are plenty of videos of Really foolish people, I don't recommend it, but you know, it is what it is. They're blowing up lithium ion batteries just for the sake of a video, and yeah, like there's plenty of proof of it. I just, why? Like, you like all the smoke that'll come out of it, and just the after effects, like, 
P please don't mess with batteries, it's a bad idea. Manganese batteries are far less common. I think they're only used in like the steel industry and maybe in like a few electric cars, but I don't know much about them. That's just not something that's actually just co ever come across my mind or something I needed or was even curious about. I What I do know is that like manganese itself is used to get rid of oxidation and sulfur from iron when they're like purifying it to make steel. So if you actually like use manganese on the iron ore, the, the steel like final product is actually much more durable and less brittle. So it's just makes stronger steel. <laughs> Yo, Senku is a savage. Holy crap. He built a stun gun, like in the stone world. Yo, that's... Damn. At first, I was wondering how Senku is, like, not getting shocked himself because the wires are, like, touching his skin. But, like, looking closely at it, there's a little bit of insulation around him so that, like, those two, like, outer, like, actual metal parts of the wire are not in contact with each other. But if they get in contact with Senku's skin, he's gonna be the one that's feeling all of this and it's... I don't know, like, for me, that's just way too close for comfort. Like, I hope that he doesn't end up shocking himself in the process. A taser or a stun gun probably won't kill you. You're actually much more likely to die from an accident with, like, an outlet in the wall than you are a stun gun. And just because it's 100,000 volts, which is quite a lot, it's not the volts that kill you, it's the current. Like, if in the human body, if you push, I think it's like 100 milliamps, or which is 0.1 amps of current, you're done. There's a guy on Reddit that has the best explanation I've ever seen for why stun guns won't kill you, but electrical outlets will. Like, this this explanation is from, like, Explain Like I'm Five, and the guy does it in such a way that's better than engineering professors can explain it, and his name is El Macho Grande. What a dude. So the question is, if an electrical outlet at 120 volts can kill you, how come a taser at 50,000 volts can't? And his answer is, Voltage is like the speed of a projectile, and current is the weight of it, or the mass of it. And a pea from a pea shooter may have the same speed as a cannonball, but the cannonball will hit way harder. So the taser can deliver a lot of voltage, but not as much current. So basically, it's a pea shooter with an extreme muzzle velocity, it has a lot of sting, but it's not a cannon. The wall outlet, on the other hand, has much less muzzle velocity, but it can deliver a very heavy projectile, basically a mortar. That is such a straightforward, easy way to understand. Like, I, I, I wish someone explained this to me when I was in college. One more thing to add with a stun gun is like if you look at like the way that Senku has it set up, right? Like those two pieces of exposed wire, when they get in contact with someone else's skin when a circuit is formed, which is what actually shocks them, the electricity is only going to pass through that little area between those two wires where he actually touches the person. And like for example, like if he touches like like some guy's foot, like the, the electricity is not going to go like from his foot up to his heart and all the way back down to his foot it goes through the path of least resistance so the electricity it's still gonna like you know like shock you a little bit but like the brute force of it is not gonna be in like a deadly lethal area now on the other hand if let's say one end of that wire is on the guy's like left shoulder and the other end of that wire is on his like right foot then that electricity is going right through your heart and that could kill you. And that's also why, like, if any of you have ever seen a defibrillator, the reason that you put the pads, like, on your chest and around, like, in the position where they are, is that the electricity can actually pass through your heart. Because if you just put them, like, in any other part of your body, it's not going to get through your heart. And that's exactly why, like, things have been engineered the way they are, so that you can pretty much direct the electricity where you want it to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more Dr. Stone, it is on the way. If you want to see any other movie, TV show, or anime, put it in the comments. And I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.